So uh, we had uh, taken a look at uh, strings in the previous videos and now we're going to talk a little bit about arrays. So arrays uh, basically can be created like this, let arr equal to 1, 2, 3 and if we print this array, it's uh, going to come out like this, um, JavaScript prints it in this formatted uh, array. So uh, some of the basic things about arrays as uh, are already uh, common from other languages as well. We uh, get the length of the array as uh, the array object dot uh, length variable, which uh, tells us three in this case. We can access items of that uh, array obviously uh, using uh, square bracket notations like this arr zero. Um, sorry, uh, I used a bracket there. Right, uh, error zero, error one is going to be uh, two, and uh, so on. Uh, arrays can obviously contain uh, items other than numbers as well, uh, because JavaScript is not a type language. So in the same array, you can put different types of objects. So you can have an array which has one, um, hello, false, and uh, even another array if you want to. Okay. So this is uh, all possible and you basically if you uh, try to uh, see the type of ARR2 dot ARR20 uh, we're gonna see that uh, the type comes out to be a number if uh, we look at the first index then uh, the type comes out to be a string and so on. Okay so moving on to uh, some operations that we can do on the array we uh, can uh, loop uh, through the iterate through that array using for loops we can do for uh, let i equal to zero i less than arr dot uh, let's say arr two dot uh, length and um, i uh, plus plus and we can console dot log the value of arr to i, which uh, would uh, print us the following thing on our screen: one hello false two three like this. Uh, we have uh, two other for loops as well uh, with us. We have a for uh, let uh, val of arr two. Okay, we have a for off loop, which the syntax looks like this. And if we do uh, console dot log. Uh, val here what uh, you're going to see printed on your screen uh, and just removing these lines so that these don't get printed uh, again uh, here so uh, when you do for let val of arr2 uh, we get uh, the values uh, inside uh, this array uh, there's also another loop called the for in loop so for uh, let uh, index in uh, arr uh, 2 and if I print uh, this value index uh, for each item uh, we're going to see that uh, let's just uh, take this uh, comment this one out for a second and here we go so you're going to see when you do a uh, console.log index you are basically iterating through the indexes of that array uh, the, the benefit of uh, the in array is going to be apparent when we look at objects uh, in an uh, array generally going through the index is pointless because we already know the indexes uh, but uh, what you can do is uh, to get the values from the indexes obviously is that you can do arr to square bracket the index okay and this is going to get you the index uh, that you want uh, the value that you want uh, which you can print using this method going to give you the earlier uh, result that we had seen.